my lovely Leos, my kids and my queens. I'm supposed to be a blessing. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. With that being said, let's get into your reading. So I do see doors on the bar, but to new opener for you, there is love on the horizon as well. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but things will definitely balance out for you. Um, if you've been going through some type of emotional ride or something, things are going to balance out. I see you being very victorious at this time, as well as you could be dealing with the Scorpio here. There will be some endings, but new beginnings will be beginning. Your life is transforming for the better. There's definitely a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here. I do see financial increase on the rising for you, because I've been feeling this you've been working extremely hard. There's an earth sign that's definitely watching you or could be coming towards you as well. And not to do business with you. The Seven of Wands is telling you to be defending yourself against others for a very long time. You're not afraid to stand up for yourself, and that's a great thing. You have an air sign that's coming in towards you, too, with the Knight, it's the Knight of Swords. See? Queen of Pentacles. The universe is ready to bless you here. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold here when it comes to you with the Five of Cups in their emotions in some type of way. In regard to a partnership, somebody wanted to be in a partnership with you. You could have been dealing with this person or they want to deal with you and their emotions in regard to it. But in order for them to get to you, they got to step to you correctly. Or if you have dealt with this person, you put them out of your life. It is what it is. You have to remember you did it for a reason. Not saying that you can't give somebody another chance. I'm not saying people don't change. But nine times out of ten, they don't. All right. So you have an air sign. Air sign that's watching you. You see this? The air sign. You have one over here that's charging in, but you also have another one that's just watching, just sitting patiently watching you. In regard to a lover's relationship, you have a, this is the Gemini card. You have the Ten of Wheels. Financial increase on the rise because I tell you, you work extremely hard. You'll be definitely needing to make a head over hard decision in regard to someone or something. Because you're birthing on new exciting things. You want emotional fulfillment and happiness. You want to be. Look at you. Queen of Wands. King of Wands, you know, tarot either are. Y'all looking good and everything. Yes, y'all had a lot of things on your mind. I feel as though um, this Ten of Swords, somebody could have been having some headaches. Look at that sword. Somebody could even have some um, toothaches and things of that sort. Things are getting on their nerve, a lot of stuff on their mind, but that's going to be coming to an end because you have the Sun card. This is Leo all day, every day. Happiness is definitely on the way for you guys. I do see you, you're finding your intuition in regard to things that are taking place in your life. You're walking away from all types of mess, anything that's low level you don't want to deal with anymore. And that's a great thing because that's so beneath you. Everything does not deserve an answer either. thought I would say that. The Seven of Cups is you thinking about um, offers that's coming in. Because see here you are, you're working extremely hard, but yet you're looking over here at what you want. There's a lot of dreams and hopes that you want to be fulfilled in. There will be some offers to come in, but you're going to definitely have to choose wisely when it comes to them, okay? All right, so you have the Ace of Wands here. It's a very creative time for you, Fire Signs. Am I saying Fire Signs? This is the Leo reading. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a very creative time for you, and you've been thinking a whole lot in regard to some things that you want to create. You want things to come to fruition. You're writing your vision, you're making a plan, and then you're asking the universe for its help, and that's a great thing. Your ancestors, your guides, your erishas, everything, they will help you to get to where you need to be, but as long as you ask. You're definitely weighing your options in regard to someone or something, and you're going to work out, because hello, look at your last card. You have the star card. You're shining brightly. Things working on your favor. This is the wish fulfillment card as well, so go on and make your wish. That being said, my lovely Leos, if you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Please share my videos, tell people about Miss Best. And if you're interested in your own reading, please call me at 347-227-5723. And until next time, y'all have a truly, truly blessed day. Thank you.